Euclid's diffraction spike. It has a very distinctive shape that's different from either the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb Space Telescope's diffraction spikes. This is due to how the light actually moves through the telescope body itself and diffracts and refracts around all of the different structures in the telescope. So on the Hubble Space Telescope, you've got a round primary mirror that does all the light collecting with a secondary mirror that focuses the light supported by four struts and you get a diffraction spike with four spikes. On JWST, you've got a hexagonal primary mirror with a secondary supported by three struts, and then you get eight diffraction spikes. And then on Euclid, you've got a round primary mirror with a secondary supported by three struts, and you get six diffraction spikes. This is something we know really well. The equations to model this have been known for centuries, and it is something that we can take out of images if necessary.